Hi everyone! Hello, I am here. Um, sorry I'm a bit late. Um, technical hitch, I of course assumed my laptop would just work. Um, but it wouldn't access the camera for some reason. I don't know why I looked at the light. It wouldn't access the camera. Um, so I had to reboot my um, laptop. So apologies that we're a little bit late. Um, but don't worry, I will still be doing the full 30 minutes. Um, so yeah. So this evening, this month, um, we are looking at uh, bump wrapping. Um, as I am now uh, seven months pregnant, um, we're going to look at different ways of using different wraps um, to support your bump during pregnancy. And the key word there is support. Okay, what we don't want to be doing is restricting the growth of the bump in any way. Okay. We very, very much want the support to come from underneath and we're not tightening over the bump. We don't want to restrict baby's movement in any way um, and we don't want to restrict growth in any way, okay? So it's very, very much about supporting the bump. It's also very important to note that when you are bump wrapping is that this is not a day-long solution, okay, to any um, bump um, strain that you have. Uh, bump wrapping is very much to be used as a last resort. Your first option should always be to sit down and put your feet up, okay? However, in some situations, this may or may not be always possible, in which case bump wrapping is an option, okay? But it should not be your very, very first option, um, purely because your body needs to stretch those muscles. Those muscles need to hurt, that's what strengthens them and gets them ready for labor. Yay! So your body needs to be using those muscles, okay, to get ready for labor. So you can use it as support, but it's very much as support, okay? Right, big safety rant over. Let's get on to the fun stuff. So first of all, we're going to be looking at stretchy wraps. Then we're going to look at ring slings. Then we're going to look at some wovens and different finishes we can do with all of those, okay? It's also really good practice um, because a lot of them are the same as how you put a newborn in. You just put your bump in instead. Um, so here is a stretchy wrap. This is actually our stretchy wrap that we had Dexter in when he was a newborn. Um, cool. So, sorry, I just arranged my clothing. So because we're wrapping our bump, we start off with our middle label over our bump okay this is the most simple one we can do we gather this up at the sides and see how i'm tightening it around my bump okay so there we go that's the bump completely wrapped we bring it round behind we cross it over and we bring one side up over each shoulder okay like so we can then take each side, tighten it up a little bit, bring them straight down. I personally prefer to go round my boobs. Some people prefer to go in, some people prefer to go straight down. I go round and then we come underneath your bump and you tie a knot underneath like so. Okay. And you can tuck it right underneath. So the knot being underneath your bump just helps to lift the whole thing. The fabric around your bump has been tightened perfectly. So it just gives that bit more support. It puts more of the weight on your shoulders just to help ease it off your hips a little bit. Um, and yeah, so that's one way of using a stretchy on your bump. Okay. Um, and then obviously, this is how we take it off. Another way is to bring these round. So instead of over your shoulders, you can go over your bust. Like so, pull it nice and tight, take it round behind, and then you can tie it off on your back. So you've created a nice little bikini finish there 
on the top with your bump in the middle. Um, not as supportive, obviously, because you don't have it going over your shoulders to lift the weight, but it does actually look quite cute. Um, I probably should have used a different uh, coloured top, actually, for the blue of this one. Um, but, yeah, anyone saying anything? Lots of people waving, saying stuff. Oh, yeah, Neil spotted the potty. Yeah, whoops. Uh, should have moved the potty. It's clean, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, cool. So that is a stretchy wrap. A couple of things you can do with that. There are loads and loads and loads of options, but the key thing is always not to over-tighten it on your bump and not to use it as a first resort, okay? Another finish we can do with the stretchy is we can bring it down and then instead of going anywhere near our upper torso, we can just stay under our bump and we can spread it over our hips instead. Tuck that between my legs to hold it in place. So what this will do is if you are suffering from PGP, SPD, um, any kind of hip pain, cross that under your bump like so. Take it around behind and then tie it in your back. So what this does is it gives you that little bit of lift just under your bump and then by spreading it over your hips, okay, that can help just to put that little bit of pressure on that you need on your hips to keep it all together, okay, and that can help to alleviate a bit of SPD, PGP, okay. There we go. So that's three different finishes with a stretchy. Um, so, yeah. It's all good fun. Right, next, ring slings. So, I'm using my rainbow muslin ring slings so that you can see what I'm doing with it. Don't forget guys, we are doing a general Q&A at the end. Um, so if you do have any questions, do pop them in the comments and I will answer them all at the end, okay? So, ring sling. Start off with your rings on the hip you're going to finish on. Lead with that top hem round the top and then we gather down, okay? So it brings most of the fabric up under your bump, okay? And pull it nice and tight. So you can see what I've done there, okay? We bring that round the back and then we thread our ring sling like normal but obviously we're now doing it on our hip, okay? So we gather that up because I just dropped it. And again, this is a good thing so you can practice doing your ring sling before your child arrives, okay? So it goes through the whole thing. Then we go back through just the bottom ring, like so, leaving a loop in the top, which we spread out. Then we pull it through top, and bottom first to get that nice and tight and then pull through all the slack okay not quite as supportive as the stretchy um, but some would argue prettier <laughs> uh, depending on your ring sling um, you can pull it down of course so it's covering one hip um, it does make your belly look very nice um, you can bring this back round so go under your bump to give a bit more support and then you can tuck it up so it's out of the way like so um, and yeah it just gives a nicer option a nicer finish um, you can do the rings on your back but then it doesn't it's a lot harder to tighten and um, you can swizzle it all around but yeah um, there's not a huge amount else you can do with a ring sling for your bump um, but yeah, it's another option. That's the key thing, it's another option. Um, right, wovens are where we can get really, really into it, okay? Um, where we can do lots and lots of fun things. So let me just get this off. Um, right, start off, this is a three which is my base minus three, okay, my base is a six. Um, 
and we'll just do one super simple quick wrap with this your wovens will be the most supportive um, because it is tightened to you um, and it's not stretchy okay um, and it will take more weight than the ring sling as well so middle marker we go up right at the top of your bump we come down the sides gathering down the sides we go okay like we did with the ring sling you can see how that's gathering right at the base of my bump so i've got the majority of the fabric under my bump to give it more support so we're not trying to restrict anything and then we just simply tie in a knot on our back like so super simple super quick because we've got all this fabric bunched underneath the bump it means we're getting that lift we're getting that support okay so that is your super quick most most basic wrap with a woven okay for your bump another one we can do is very very similar to a ring sling but instead of a ring sling we tie a slip knot okay so our middle marker goes on our opposite hip to where we want the slip knot to be bring that over our bump again gathering it very carefully so that all the pressure is under our bump we bring the other piece around the back nice and tight over our back again gathering it up and you probably want to hook that off your bum just so it's more comfy right so once we're here we're going to tie our slip knot so we want this piece to go between no we'll just hold it there be fine we're going over diagonally up straight down under there round and back through okay and there is our slip knot okay then we can start bringing the slack round okay across our back and tightening up our wrap here to give our bump just the right amount of support okay again like the ring sling not as supportive as other finishes but it does look really 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 pretty especially if you've got a really pretty shorty uh, <laughs> it's something lovely that you can do um so yeah so that's another finish you can do with a shorty and i'll do one more with a shorty and then we'll get on to longer finishes so again middle marker top of our bump gather it up there we go take it around the back this time we're just going to cross it over okay And you can pull both sides to tighten it up, which looks nice. And then you can bring it down and tie under the bump. So like our stretchy, the knot under the bump gives it that little bit more support and takes the weight off of your hips a little bit more. Okay, so we're down like that. so many options so many options right so a longer wrap this is a five so this is my base minus one um but you can do pretty much lots of nice long ones with this anyway um okay so 
First one we're gonna do is exactly the same as what we did with our stretchy, okay? The very first one we did with that. So we get our middle marker, okay? Over our bump, gather it up at the sides, as we've been doing the whole time. Take it behind, and then we bring one side round, up over our shoulder, gather it up. Same with the other side. Like so. Call my shorts down. Um, cool, so we're there. I lost my gathering when I was bringing mine up, so I'm just gonna retighten it. So, my underpass, I need to pull my outside hem. You can see it tightens it up under my bump. Okay, and then my inside hems, pull to tighten, pull to tighten. You can see the fabric moving. And then just pull bit by bit, working my way through. Okay, once we're here, I can now pull it straight down and tie it either under my bump, as we have done before, or I can take it behind into my back. Or I can tie it there. Okay. So that is also a really nice finish. Takes a lot of the weight off the bump and disperses it up to the shoulders. Okay, then you have less, less at the front um, going on rather than having a knot down there. It's just you, so it's a bit comfier to sit. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Um, one of the most popular finishes that I always see um, when it comes to bump wrapping is the sweetheart finish, which I'll show you how to do. It does look the prettiest. It looks amazing in photos. It's brilliant for showing off your wraps and your bump, and it looks absolutely stunning. It is not the most supportive, um, but it does look the prettiest, okay? So, middle marker goes in the small of your back. Not small of your back, between your shoulders, sorry. Up under your armpits, okay? You take one side, and just pop that between your legs, just so we've got some tension to work against. So we bring this round, we go over one breast, and we gather the material as we go. So you can leave it long, so that it also um, puts the pressure on your hips so it's more supportive there. However, I'm going to bring mine up and continue tightening this around my bump. Okay, so we're like that. Once we're there, Pin it, it's easiest to bring it around and then pin it between your legs there. Okay, or stand on it actually, I'll stand on it, that'll be easier. And then we do the same on this side, so we bring it up, over our breast, and then we tighten it round our bump as we go. Okay. There we go. So we bring this round, so we've got both sides. Is that you doing angry faces? Me? <laughs> no, it isn't me actually. There we go, so that's tied in a knot. Okay, so two layers over our bump. Okay, giving it lots of lovely support, giving it a nice gentle lift, and it looks really, really pretty with that sweetheart neckline finishing over your chest. Um, so yeah, that's another really pretty one. Um, obviously we can also do the slip knot finish, we can do the ring sling finish. Um, there's absolutely tons that you can do. Um, I think that was everything that I was going to show you. Yeah, 
So, we're 20 minutes in, so that gives us 10 minutes left for a QA. and a um, So, if you have any questions um, about bump wrapping or baby wearing in pregnancy um, or, um, well, anything to do with baby wearing in general, um, now is your time to ask the questions. Um, as I'm waiting for the questions to come in, I'll just quickly um, reiterate what I said before uh, when we started the whole thing for those people who weren't here. Um, so bump prepping is really, really useful as uh, support for your bump, okay? It shouldn't be tight. It shouldn't restrict fetal movement. Um, it's very, very important not to do it all the time, okay? It should be a last resort, not a first resort. Um, to supporting your bump. Your first resort, if ever you feel any aches and pains, should always be to sit down and rest, okay? If that isn't possible, then bump wrapping is an option, okay? But it's very important not to do it all day long. Your muscles need to develop. They need to learn how to carry this weight. It will make them stronger, which means you can push better in labor, okay? That is what you need those muscles for. That is why they hurt as your bump gets bigger. But you can totally, totally use it for support when you're out and about. Uh, or even just at home and you can't sit down. Right, so let's go through the comments. Um, let's see, lots of people waving, um, which is lovely. Kimberly, loved wrapping my bump with the twins. Absolutely needed a refresher though. Oh good, I'm glad you loved wrapping your twin bump. Um, and glad I could provide a refresher for you. Um, Lottie, good idea. I wish I knew about this when I was pregnant. I used to just hold it up to take the weight off. Yeah, a lot of people do, or they get, um, uh, you can get these special pregnancy, uh, they're like tubey grips, um, so you can get those as well. Um, I know the NHS also give out support bands um, for ladies with PGP, SPD. Obviously, if the NHS have given you something specific, then do use that in the first instance, okay? Um, and then, uh, we can, then we can look at how to wrap around it as well, okay? Um, the, I can see there's lots of hearts and likes and things going on, which is lovely. There's a few angry faces as well. Um, that is me. That was you? No, that one was pretty almost. Right, okay. Neil's trolling me. My own husband is trolling me on my own live. Um, I was just going to say, if you're doing angry faces, please, please, please comment with why you're angry so that we can have a conversation about it um, because that would be much more beneficial to everyone watching in case anyone's thinking the same thing as you. Um, so does anyone have any questions at all for me about bump wrapping or baby wearing in pregnancy or baby wearing in general at all? It's fine if you don't. I don't think there's going to be anything. Does it move the pressure to your back? Thank you, darling. Um, it's not about moving the pressure somewhere else. It's about relieving the pressure that is there. So like when you carry your child, when you carry your child in your arms, you can feel your child's weight in your arms. Um, but when you carry your child in a carrier, that weight is gone from your body and you can't feel it because the child is strapped to you. So it's the same when you wrap your bump. Um, the weight is removed from the equation because you can't feel it anymore. Um, but yeah, oh, she's kicking now. Um, any other questions from anyone? It's fine if not. <laughs> cool. Okay, um, so that is it uh, for this evening then. Thank you to everyone who joined me um, for that whirlwind adventure through bump wrapping. Um, I'll try to do some photos as well um, and do a little photo album for you all. Um, our next live um, will be, oh, Neil's saying, oh, one more thing. I'll wait for the comment to appear. Can this be done to help recovery from a C-section? Oh, there's a question. Um, baby wearing in general is good to do when recovering from a C-section because you're going to be carrying your baby anyway. Um, and, uh, and so holding, uh, putting your child in a wrap will actually 
help your um, muscles to recover a lot more. The danger of wrapping the bump post C-section, of course, is inflammation of the scar um, and causing excess rubbing on that. But having had a C-section, I know that pressure on my stomach does help. And I know that some hospitals and trusts do recommend support bands following C-section. Um, so whilst I don't, well, I don't know is the full answer. I would be wary of doing anything too tight around the actual incision area in case of infection or you aggravate the scar. Um, but some kind of binding around your actual stomach may help um, if you cough or laugh or something like that. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks, darling. Um, so <laughs> our next live will be in four weeks time. Um, and uh, it will be guest starring Neil, my husband. What? Um, I asked you about this ages ago. Um, and it's going to be about, it's about, <laughs> I asked you before I publicized it. Um, it's all about dad's baby wearing. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, about why dad should baby wear, what dads can get out of it aside from brownie points. Um, <laughs> they can then cash in later on. Um, but yes, so do join us in a few weeks' time where Neil and I will be chatting about dad's baby wearing. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.